The following video is dedicated to the memory of Jeremy Bullich. Thank you for starring and starting what would spark the entire Mandalorian lore that we see today. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even be doing these type of videos right now. No one is truly ever gone, and your memory of playing one of the most notorious bounty hunters ever will live in our hearts and in galaxies far, far away. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Here we go! What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? If you continue to fight... Plus, my name is Akasan. And I'm JJ. What's up, Super Crew? DC Son. Hey, what's up? It's Tyrone. Hello. <laughs> it is I. Hi. <laughs> so Katano. Uh -oh. Hey. 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 Right? I can barely hey. see it, but nice. it's all good. Yeah. Come he started out as a. Tuscan Raider uh, lightsaber. Okay, I can't see shit. So here you go. <laughs> no. All right, there we go. Exchange. Everybody, everybody <laughs> brought their uh, outfit. Ahsoka, looking good. I like it. Hey. All, right. All right, I like that. How's everybody doing? You guys ready for today? Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and yeah. no because I don't want to wait a year for the next season. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, waiting another yeah, year. I'm like, oh, ready for a Bill Bird to wreak havoc. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I definitely. <laughs> he's gonna get. He's gonna definitely. Get accepted, and he's gonna be a new Mandalorian found mm -hmm. like. Oh, nice. I'm yeah. waiting. I'm waiting for uh, Luke Skywalker to show yep. up or yep. Cal. Uh, What's his name, DC Son? From Fallen Order, Cal Kestis? Kestis. Cal Kestis. Yeah. yeah, I'm waiting for him to show up. I just call him fucking Joker. Uh, right? Luke, Luke Joker, I, can't, right? I can't unsee it. Right? Yeah. I don't know or, um, he played I'm, Joker in Gotham. Ezra, uh, I'll just Ezra leave it at Richard. that. For, mm -hmm. for those that don't know, you don't know, but if he shows up, that'd be I'd be ecstatic about that from Star Wars yeah. Rebels. Those are the three people I'm waiting for. Those are the only people I would imagine that would show up at the end of this season or uh, end, of the, end of the episode or mid, midway. Snoke, that'd be kind of dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he, he, finally, he finally gets screen time. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like, oh, he finally does something. <laughs> um, so yeah. here, I mean, this is it. Like, uh, we, we, this is a, already the season finale of The Mandalorian. We have uh, Mando and his ragtag crew, which is a lot smaller than I thought, going yeah. after Moff Gideon. Yeah, mm -hmm. I legit, I honestly legit, I legit thought it was going to be like all of them coming together mm -hmm. again. Like, the, 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 uh, like Bill, Bill Burr's whole group, yeah. I thought gonna come right yeah no not I, no, not that no, no. not that group. no no um re real warriors um i, I <laughs> i'm just joking you mean just... not the salamander guy the salamander dad no <laughs> I, i'm looking at it as maybe maybe they'll meet up with the oh, the other members of the other tribes of men I... uh, oh, okay. halfway uh, like on their way there yeah maybe uh... they might meet up hmm. No, see, not one episode. <laughs> no, see, see, what I personally thought was it was going to be night one, at least the night owls coming back. Like I was like, really, just one episode? We get a Sokatana. I mean, uh, we get uh, uh Katan and her crew. Like and I legit crew? thought. No, that that's why gonna... I think it, it's it's going to happen to where they'll meet up again. In midway through the episode or something yeah, like that. Okay. I don't know if they're going to be in the whole episode, but they'll at least meet, if not talk at some point yeah. right. episode, because yeah. that would actually make what happened and what was talked about before kind of solidify mm -hmm. right. since he's I, taking off the helmet 
the conversation that he had with right. her so on and right. so forth so it'll come full circle that way somebody was bringing up the fact that you know boba said look he's just a simple man trying to find his way through the galaxy but but uh there is this theory in the sense that uh boba fett could actually take over mandalore and has a uh, right to the heir of the mandalore throne uh, it, therefore it, yeah. doing something with our mando uh kind of taking care of that so it's an, a very interesting thing um this big theory that i was hearing as to uh what we were talking about earlier in, so in the previous reaction it. about how who's hmm. who really is a true what is a true mandalore at this point hmm. in time you know there we were talking about how you know mandal's group is somewhat like we view them or they sometimes are viewed as like al-qaeda of mandalore but at the same time they could also be seen as uh in some sense, the, yeah, the uh, um, game of thrones the um the uh khaleesi's uh the the Tar targaryens targaryens, targaryens yeah, yeah. Okay. They could be looked at as Targaryens in some sense, where yeah, yeah, okay, people didn't like them, but yo, they were the original leaders yep. of uh, how this goes. So that that's a very interesting uh, sort of way to kind of look at things. So, so you're, that's all. Are you loosely saying that you, th from the theory, that Din would possibly sacrifice himself to save, yeah, uh, Grogu, possibly. and then and from there. Boba's story basically carries on, and that's how you tie Boba and uh, Bo Katan's story in the next series and go from there. Possibly, I like I I, I don't think they're gonna end the season or the end the huh? What? Mm -hmm. Sorry, did you say it was Boba and Bo Katan in the next series spinoff? Is Boba uh, no, 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 tying them together? No, tying them together no... in his yeah. spinoff. I mean, that would uh, kind of make sense. Well, he said his spinoff. Uh, so does he have his own spinoff? Well, they're in the I same. Know. They're in the same timeline, so that would kind of make sense to have them in the same show, right? As far well, as far as I know, I... there's no confirmation that there's any sort of spinoff. The only uh, somewhat related spinoff we have right now is the Ahsoka's uh, spinoff right. that's been confirmed. And will that uh, tie Obi Wan? Is what I want. And the Obi Wan. Well, then that's wild. That yeah. Obi Wan. And, uh, I am we got so pumped for that. Darth yeah. Vader coming back. That that's a big one. And actually, that has to be in between then Rebels and uh, A New Hope. Then right. Well, correct. It Possibly be, yes, but no, but no. Yeah. <clears throat> Full reaction is available on Patreon. Make sure you check out the full reaction. I'm sure this is going to be a big one. Yeah. The season finale of season two of The Mandalorian. Oh, hey, Aka. One more Sorry. small thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, want, just wanted to give a huge thank you to Jeremy Bullock, who actually yeah, played, yeah actually good, uh, good one. Boba Fett good one. in the yeah. originals. Because rest in peace. Without him, without him, the character wouldn't have been possible. So thank yeah. you. Thank that you. that is will be missed. Will be missed. Wow, talk about timing. Yeah, that is wild. No, right? That yeah. is something else. Yeah, without him, we wouldn't right. we, we wouldn't be here doing this right no. now. So definitely, and that, that's two without him and without Darth Vader. So that's right, like, that's a lot, and that's right. within the same within what a month period. Uh, yeah, that's less than that, two weeks or so. Yeah. yeah. Woof. Yeah. That's it. All right. Thanks for being a Debbie Downer. You can see shit. No, I, <laughs> I, I was trying to, uh, you know, reach my inner JJ. <laughs> By being a little shit? Okay, great. All right. Your full reaction <laughs> starts now. <laughs> That's dope. Star, Star Wars is not cool. Cool. That is cool. <laughs> who, who, now you got the Western with the. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, baby. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hey. Okay. All right. What's All up? Right. Told you. Nice. Nice. Asha Banks. You are a disgrace to your own. Oh, wow. To my father. Oh, my God. Don't you mean your donor? Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Oh shit! I did not think it was gonna go down this early. Let's go! Oh, damn! Nice! Bro wrestler! DDT! DDT! Nice! Oh, 
it! Damn! He WWF him up! Help me rescue the child, and you can have whatever you want. Even me. Why do I feel not like I'm gonna get I would not be opposed to that. Where's Bill Burr? <laughs> Bro, they let him go. Hold on, hold on. Where were you he the let... last episode, man? Yeah. yeah, they should be in this too. Stay clear of launch two. Deploying fighter squadron. Let's go. Yo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this <laughs> is so cool. Look this how beautiful so they look. Crazy. I don't know why. Like, I get, I'm nervous right now. Do you think Moff knows? I was oh, yeah, kind of thinking that he's got that look. He's got that look like something's yeah. wrong. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, peace, bitches. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I need a face. Damn. How you like them? Was that real necessary, though? Dude. Dude, she's so, she's she's so hey! You get a mood on. <laughs> nice snap, Mare. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Shit! Somebody gave Kara one of those cyberpunk guns! Yo, 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 hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here we go, here we go. No, 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 no! Close the door, close the door! Ah, you think a door is gonna stop them? <laughs> oh, look at that! Total Terminator god <laughs> right there. Shoot him in the Whoa! face! Oh, shit! God damn! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh! Terminator nod! Total Terminator! Damn it! Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> No, it's be non-stop Terminator parody. Hey! There you go. Yeah. There you nice. go. Nice. Yes. Get yeah. Uh, you better hit that hurry, arrow hurry, lock. Hurry. Now you got just twenty. Hey. Thank you. Bye -bye. Oh, you're right, Aka. You called it. <laughs> Wait. No. See ya. Something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Be, like, yeah. I'm, I'm way too comfortable now. You wouldn't die for being just shot. I'm not going. It's going, it's going, going fairly well. This motherfucker about to he come out as Terminator ish. Yeah. He's gonna come out in one of those he's, suits. He's gonna be Super Shredder, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Super Shredder. Get him, Donatello. Oh my oh, god. Nice. Oh my Damn. god. Yo, what's up, Viper? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. 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 Asshole. Choke his ass out. He can't. He cuffed me. Baby cuffs. <laughs> I don't trust this. Yeah, this is. I don't trust it either. <clears throat> Always the negotiator. He's gonna stab him in the back. Vulcan I should, I, you feel that too? Yeah. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Let's go. Oh, that's sick right there. Mm. Please don't tell me that's just gonna snap it out, though. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. What? No way. Just kill him. Just kill him. Just kill him. Just Take him out. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Bo? Wait, Bo? No. Any? Or never mind. Why don't you kill him? Hmm. No. Set up? It's yours now. No, so. What is, what is yeah. The dark right. The, what? What? It's not really a. It's not. He's. She's got to beat him. No. no. It doesn't ah, work like this. Her. Yeah. Without that blade, she's a pretender to the throne. Wow. <laughs> I like this, but. It so hand it back. To, so hand it back to him, and she'll just kill him. Right. Done. Right. Just take it. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be this episode. This is crazy, man. I'm gonna get you out of here. He's just like, dude, they took too much blood. <laughs> He's like, I need a Snickers. What? Are you really here? What's going on? Where am I, dude? I swear, if a fucking Jedi shows up on the other end, I'm gonna be happy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no that's gonna be awesome. I don't that. think it's gonna happen. Right. Oh. Wait, yeah. What? What? Oh shit. One X-wing. That's an X-wing. Yeah. That's exactly. is it, Luke? Dante. Is it Luke? Get the I fuck don't know, out. but that X-wing makes me happy. Oh, he's scared now. Oh, it is Luke! It has to be Luke! That's a great... What? You sure it's uh, it's not Cal? Wait. Come I know, on. Man. It's gotta be Luke! Green lightsaber, oh, come shit. on! Right in half! Look, Look at the lightsaber! Huh? 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 Yeah! Mecha oh, yeah, it's shit. totally Luke, dude! Oh, shit! It's Luke! It's, it's gotta be Luke. Gotta be Luke. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, no. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, and if so, who's playing him? Come on! Show me his face! Damn, did they kill Sasha Banks? Uh, yeah. She got murked. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh my god! Holy shit! Wow. It's like Darth Vader would have done. Yeah, just like ah. his dad. The young guy, it's not. Is it? Hey! Oh, this is awesome! What the fuck? He is Whoa, the Jedi. Shit. Yes. He is the Jedi. He is ah. the Jedi. Ah. Yes! Oh my gosh! Holy shit! Oh my gosh. Man, oh. right in my head, the whole timeline is all fucking weird bit up, though. Man, John Favreau, Dave, y'all suck. Oh, wow. He did it again. He, did wow. it again. he just doesn't give a shit anymore. No. Wow. Religion or any of the rules? I oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit! This is crazy! This is product crazy. placement. And. Wow! Wow! This really fucking sucks! <laughs> this is it! That's the end of the chapter! Wow! That's amazing is what it is, except that he took his helmet off, but yeah. This yeah. might be the most emotional moment in Star Wars ever. Wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. He's not even waving at him. Yoda's just like, this is the way. <laughs> wow. Fuck. Holy shit! The tone of the music almost feels like someone died, and that's actually oh, 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 how we're on. We're on a Tatooine. 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 Oh shit! Now who? Hans can't be yeah, solo. Uh, maybe it could be Hans. I, it might be Boba. Yep, sit on the throne. Oh, shit, that's the kind of throne he wants then. No. Oh, yeah. King of the right. world, Boba. That is badass. That's kind of ruined. Ruin? No. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Shit. Oh, that is yeah. dope. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Though. Game for my kingdom. Oh, yeah. The book of Boba. Wait, what the fuck? Confirmed. Okay. Come hey! There you go. The book of Boba Fett. See? No, oh, Jim. Possibly a spin-off. Had a series. A book. Yeah. Okay. In all likelihood, is that a series or is that a book? <laughs> um, it's got to be a book. I mean, a series. All right, and there you have it—the season finale for The Mandalorian. 
what an emotional wreck uh how's it how's everybody feeling right now uh, mm. <laughs> all these different emotions all these different emotions but mostly positive compared to dc sign i'm i'm exhausted i'm exhausted yeah, yeah. emotionally sweet. exhausted yeah, yeah there's emotionally sweet. exhausted uh, there's there's been stuff that i've watched that have just drained me like <clears throat> watching you know work wise but watching wonder woman even though it doesn't have anything to do with star wars watching wonder woman literally two days ago i kid you not whether you're a fan of wonder woman or anything like that just take tissues or a towel i'm not bsing you take it oh i'll take tissues and then and then and then watching this immediately <laughs> after i'm done seriously that oh. that that ending god damn it yeah I, I need to drink. <laughs> so do I. I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't expect it to. Like, uh, so it's something we were kind of talking about. Uh, uh, well, we've been talking about, and this entire idea was. Um, I mean, uh, let me get to. Let, okay, let me let, let's just break it down because obviously the big talk is going to be Luke at the end here. But in the beginning. Um, Something that was brought up that we already brought up was the fact about the claim to Mandalore. That was something that's been a running sort of theme this entire uh, season two was um, the ever since the Darksaber was introduced uh, for people like myself and um, DC Sun. Uh, we knew the importance of the dark saber and what mm. what that would mean, but I'm glad that they were able to kind of get it in there. And Moff Gideon was basically the walking exposition for that yeah. the purpose of that dark saber. Uh, JJ tying that together just made it perfect. Correct. JJ. Now uh, JJ did uh, bring up a, a particularly a point because uh, Wait, the whole right. idea of the dark saber was that it was uh, to be in order to own the dark saber you need to win it and uh, acquire it in combat only but jj you were bringing something up about clone wars go ahead so this is what my problem with that was i love that and i love that arc there and i love uh -huh. that storyline like haha oh, wait, wait. But, oh sorry sorry no. marta yes. hasn't seen uh, marta hasn't seen star wars um i mean clone well, I, wars I, and I don't spoil it for marta don't worry Rebels. but my main point is um she did she kind of threw out that belief when uh her her leader correct okay all right okay. so to answer that i can answer that one really easily because the person that acquired the dark saber during that time is not a mandalorian at at any sort of uh cost. Yeah, so she was like i won't i won't follow him so it's like yeah. okay so then you're not following the rules of mandalore so she didn't. So what JJ is saying is that the person, no, even if they're not Mandalorian, they want it through combat. So, right, because she was like, "Well, I'm not going to follow you because I don't believe in what you are trying to stand for, and yeah. you're just basically yeah. here to usurp." Then I'm just going to go off and do my own thing. No, because no, yeah. she, she, she didn't. She, no, no, that, no, 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 no. This is what he's saying. So by her saying, but it wasn't that. No, no, that's but what, her saying, "I'm not going to follow you." That's her not going by the actual traditions and laws. Right, but that wasn't why she's a chief. Because the way I look at it, the way I look at it is like it's like somebody winning the presidency but not being American. That's what she left because homie that won it is not Mandalorian by any sort of rule, by any sort of yeah. law. That's why she's the one that holds it. But, but, but you don't necessarily but, have to be. Yes. No. But, but the first thing she said when that person got the dark saber was, "I will not follow any. No outsider can no own outsider. dark saber." Yeah. That's the first thing she said, and she bounced. Yeah. That's all. So I don't. I don't think that that it has anything to do with what we saw in this episode. So um, it, it's not like I, I see where JJ, you're coming from. Like she's being very yeah. picky and choosy with the rules. Yeah. Like, okay, I, I, I kind of want to follow tradition, but. Nobody remembers that uh what 10 20 years ago I didn't follow <laughs> I fucking yeah, was like right? she she pulled a trump right she only follows the rules if she wins but okay yeah, anyway that's really fight. interesting and because go ahead really Marta. because like okay you guys have all of this like background stuff but like mm. the way I interpreted that interaction that moment of like mm. here take the sword and she's like hesitant to take the sword she's like oh shit what do I do like I like I interpreted it as she doesn't want to 
right? right. Like, I'm am I right that she doesn't want to just Chill. earn it on no merits and then Correct. like because the right. only people that will know that this happened that are the, in that room the, the, she, right. are in that room, right? And so it's like the shame of not yep. winning it by combat is mm. so overwhelming. Right. That, no, no, but you're you're right. you're correct. You're, you're correct with that. And, but, and someone else said the same like thing. Combat, she didn't want to follow the rules and follow that person. So it's like, why do you give so much of a shit when you didn't before? Like we're saying, she's picky choosy. So it was kind of well, weird. I mean, but, but again, Maybe well, didn't want, she, she, didn't want follow because, she didn't want to follow that person because they weren't um, from Mandalore. So it, right. you're an outsider. So you don't, is, whoever has you don't follow it, our where they're from. No, no but uh, uh, again, it goes back into the whole thing of a mock basically. I mean, Moff, Moff basically answered it. He was just like, look, it's, it doesn't matter who has the Darksaber. It's the story that it. goes with it. So that that's... Mm -hmm. Moff basically answered it right then and there. Uh, she didn't want to fight Din Djarin. And she didn't want to fucking kill another Mandalorian to become no. that lead. You know, she wanted to kill... Or, no, I'm sorry. She, she, wanted, she, wanted, she wanted to Moff basically Gideon. Moff Gideon. Gideon. Yeah, she wanted to beat Moff Gideon to reclaim honor and get that saber. But if she has to beat another... Uh, Mandalorian for it, who doesn't even want to fight. There's nothing that it's. It's kind of like it's in some sense. It's kind of like win. it's kind of like the WWE title. It's like look when they just gave it to Triple H, it had like no meaning. But if you actually had to bleed, sweat, and earn your way through it at WrestleMania and have that WrestleMania moment, it means that much more. I, so. I understand that, but I didn't get that feeling when watching the Clone Wars. Is what I mean. No. Okay. Well, all right. Even, but yeah, we're going too long yeah. on it. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, so after that, and then the other thing that was actually challenged, I think that was really interesting early on was the fact that um, Sasha Banks, uh, I, I, uh, I don't know who she's playing in the show, uh, but Sasha Banks uh, was basically the Costa. other, okay. She was that other night owl that was rolling around with Bo-Katan. Um, yeah. Early on, Early on, they straight challenged um, yeah. any sort of claim, not necessarily a claim, but any sort of claim to being a true Mandalorian with Boba Fett. I thought that was really interesting because yeah. I didn't really think they were going to get into that that early on. And one of Bo-Katan's best lines, uh, which I thought was great, was, I have heard your voice a thousand times. <laughs> That was, yeah. yeah. And she literally called his ass a test tube baby. Like, yeah, you, mean your, yeah. your, your, you mean your donor? Yeah. Take yeah. tube baby, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I thought that was, which is pretty rough. Fired. Yeah. That was rough. And, but I, um, you know, in some, and okay, actually, you know what? Going back to exactly what JJ was talking about was, that kind of goes into Bo Katan's belief. Blood, and I guess that makes sense because blood, she is royal. She has royal blood. She is the sister of the Duchess of Mandalore. And so that that's yeah. Game of Thrones, that's very important. In the blood, Thrones. I'll Game of Thrones. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it's or, if you have yeah, the Aryan blood, that means you have right to the throne. Daenerys mm -hmm. was saying the same shit all the time the moment they found out about Jon Snow suddenly shit got flipped upside down and like wait a second technically your blood because of your Targaryen blood you have more claim to the throne than I do so mm -hmm. it's very important in Mandalore if once you get through uh more of Star Wars Rebels you'll start to see Mandalore really does work very much ga like Game of Thrones in royalty oh, and do you feel Bo-Katan from Clone Wars and Rebels is very similar to this one? My my image of her was more of like a good guy in Clone Wars, and now she feels really villainous. -ish. Well, I, 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 I think well, she's just war. She's she's war torn and war ridden. Exactly. I mean, she's been once she's you, been through a lot. Once you finish the last Clone Wars or finish Rebels, the last four episodes, just finish the oh, last. So you haven't finished Clone Wars, so we can have this conversation, okay. man. <laughs> finish the last four, the last four episodes of Clone Wars, have to have to have to and you will understand she she okay. is in a very war torn place, and she she's essentially lost everything. So, um, so uh, it's understandable. Um, and so that DDT that was amazing. Have to get yeah, a shot. That was great. That. That was great. I, I do. I, off the wall. 
I do like that they uh they they basically brought that up and they're like, okay, look, if you ever try to go for band the if you ever try to go for Mandalore, we're taking your test tube baby ass out. Like you have no yeah. claim to, to this throne. But in some form or fashion, that actually was a good thing because it seems like that left room for uh Boba to go to some other type of throne. Uh I Yes, in all likelihood, Dante, can you explain that one for us uh, more, like the significance of him going back to the huts uh, area on Tatooine? Yeah, because he was basically hired as a bounty hunter, and Jabba, yeah. when he was when he fell into the Sarlacc pit, basically no one helped him. I'm sure they're going to dive into that storyline later on, and I don't want to say anything from what I've seen in comic books or anything like that because I don't want to spoil anything right. for anybody. But yeah. <clears throat> In general, it's like, how come no one did anything? And working for them, they were basically the scum. It was like the 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 last last thing you could do. And this is his way of taking over because he doesn't have anything else left. You know, looking at it from Bokatan's standpoint, you're a you know you, you're not a real person. And the only family he had is long gone. Everything that he's known since then from what you've seen in in video okay so far has been as a bounty hunter hunting someone down or as somebody's bodyguard that's it mm -hmm. right and he's, tired, he's tired of working for everybody else basically he's tired of working for the man he wants to beat him yeah okay and yeah. and since since in his eyes mandalore is not one even a done, one and done and they're not going to accept him anyway why not, not to why not, not his own pop well, not to mention, even in the early part of that episode, he didn't even realize Mandalore was even around anymore. So, like, yeah, he's yeah, like, he's yeah. stuck in a destroyed. desert for God knows how long. Well, too, well so. for him, for him, what he's basing it off of because of the timeline, the purge happened while he was still around, and it's like there's nothing left. They they practically destroyed everything. So, whatever you're trying to tell me, basically, you're just this this little band of heroes that's on the outskirts that thinks you can do something but you don't have any power there's nothing you can do anymore your culture is pretty much destroyed i have a question to you oh if i may go first go ahead what, what um, i wanted to say was uh me? Boba, oh. before he went into the sarlacc pit was actually one of the top bounty hunters in the galaxy world yeah. renowned yeah. Darth Vader the other bounty hunters yeah. right what what's saying Darth Vader recruited him from the huts, essentially. Yeah. Like rented him out. Okay. And they they yeah. recruited it's him like because they wanted to they wanted under him. Jabba the Hut. Right. But all the other bounty hunters respected him and loved him, kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. as far as bounty it, hunters go, every, they respected yeah. him and no but one would cross him. He becomes the hut, which is like basically the the he becomes the crime, he becomes the, the new the, the, the new so crime boss. The, yeah. He becomes the crime boss of all of them. So now yeah. all his like bounty hunter buddies are now his recruits. Exactly. He's not only the top bounty hunter, but now he's the kingpin of right. everything. Which is kind of cool. Which, 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 which makes sense cool. because he, he doesn't he doesn't have a planet of his own. He doesn't have a government to run. So he's like, well, the next best thing is look. I know the ins and out of the crime world anyway. I've been working in it, so why not rule it? So and by doing that, it almost seems like a retirement plan, which is like, <laughs> <laughs> you, the bounty <laughs> hunter <laughs> retirement <laughs> plan. I like yeah, it. It sounds like, it sounds like a joke, but yeah, JJ. Oh, no, that, no, you're that, right. That's, that's I right. That. I like that. The bounty hunter retirement plan. No, but you're, you're you're right. Because yeah. why do why do all the work when you can have someone else do the work for you? What an awesome yeah. way. Actually, what an awesome way to end it. Boba gonna be about is this gonna be him like sending people on missions as he's doing oh, no. like Charlie why not thing in the background that, okay that's, real a, quick. that's a smarter thing to do so here's my question though for you guys for you boba fans can probably answer though first episode of the mandalorian at the end we see boba has been on tatooine for god knows how long we don't know he's yeah. been going around maybe trying to get his armor i'm assuming he's been a, he's just been kicking out on tatooine forever um then he gets his armor, and now he goes back After to Tatooine. Yeah. Right, it shoots up the place. My question is, how come he didn't go to that place and shoot that place up already? If I can say, I think it was because uh, he he just got out of the Sarlacc pit. Like, there's not a really? lot of time after I don't, he got I don't out. Think, I, he was I, I in there. 
Not okay. so much just getting out of the Starlight Pit, Fair but enough. just finished healing up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, he has and to heal trying, up. Trying to get resources and then go from there. Also, trying to track down his armor because the one place he went to to get his armor, that he heard that it was there. That's it a good point. You know, that, yeah, I, I just did the timeline in my head because he fell into the Sarlacc pit, Return of the Jedi, right? Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. he's only been, five years only later. Been like a few, yeah, only been about five years he's been healing for that long. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, if it's according to the comic, he was in that for a couple of years in the Sarlacc pit. Yeah. Right, 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 right. right. And then made his way out. And it's like, damn, dude. Yeah. But the weird uh, thing is, so, you ate that? Also, <laughs> I don't know how I, he lost his armor. Or no, if you go by the comics. Okay, Marta, go, ahead. Also, go ahead, Marta. I was gonna say also we should take the terrain into consideration. Like he must have been uh, lost for some period of time in a freaking desert with no water, no resources by himself. So, um yes but, and yes think, and possibly no, only because him working for the huts means he knows the terrain fairly well. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's Boba Fett. But, uh, but so also weird. he was sucking off the sarlacc all that time on its juices. Oh. <laughs> um, Tyron, <laughs> um, Tyron, is, anything, is, like, did you, is there anything you wanted to say about Boba before? I'm about to switch subjects. Mm, I'm good. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next point was there was that point, mm. and then they um, they went onto the planet. I mean, they went onto the ship. We saw the dark troopers. Moff Gideon had his whole spill. We've already discussed all about that. Um, I feel like there was one point before I get into the big reveal. Oh, who did we just lose? Oh, JJ. Oh, we lost JJ. Um, Force Ghost. Yeah, <laughs> he's using the Force. Right? He'll be back. Someone uh, opened any- the airlock and he fell out. <laughs> that was, yeah that was kind of funny um i guess we're just gonna get right back into um the 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 there's only one other thing i guess because i, I felt like there's one more thing but i think we covered everybody's like journey so far let's basically talk about the jedi that finally reached out like like honestly hmm. it couldn't have it couldn't have been anybody other than luke only just because of even canon to not, legends versus legends for those that don't know legends is like the 20 30 what something years of stories yeah what used to be canon but disney wiped it all out so legends or canon story. even with canon both sides said that luke was su- such an advocate for restor- restoring the uh jedi order so mm-hmm. it couldn't have been anybody else but luke i was going to i was actually going to be okay with cal from the fallen order following luke's um uh, instructions or something instructions to pick him up and then you get a name drop like it like for those that don't know cal uh cal is a character he's a jedi in this video game called fallen order that came out earlier this year i want to say it it happens um it happens a- after return of the Je- no wh- what timeline is fallen order happening Oh, it's uh, uh, it's happening during a new hope. Actually, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So Cal, as far as we know, he's unless, still alive. Unless Cal is, yeah. you know, yeah. Unless they kill him, survived and he's yeah. older. There's no way he can make it. And so it was just kind of weird because the guy from the joke, the guy from Gotham, he's a kind of a famous actor. It was it's so w- rare that they motion capture somebody and have him do the lines and not use them for something more. So most people were just like, dude, he looks about the age. To play after but, Return of the Jedi, like where that. Where was that so, character during that whole the original trilogy? Then, because wasn't we don't the know. Jedi all we erased? Know. Well, there still were like little ones hiding, and yeah, like Ahsoka that. and yeah. other yeah. ones. But yeah. in the storyline, you have him on the outskirts, and he's right not supposed to use his power. He's supposed to basically, you know, stay hidden because right. as soon as they know, he's killed. Right, because that's what they were like, doing. They, they, were think, hunting, like, they were hunting down any. But no, he was out, I mean, he was out there fighting inquisitors and things like that. Which yeah, is yeah, yeah. Thing, but just but, in yeah. general, there any remaining Jedi quiet, are yeah. supposed to stay in but hiding. But if you were to think of like a Jedi call, then and that guy's like on the outskirts, and then you got Luke, who is like basically Obi Wan and Yoda's apprentice. Right, but my so my thing to be Luke. <laughs> no, no, but my thing was the fact that Luke is kind of the grand master now so he doesn't have time yeah. to be recruiting people and so oh, my okay. thinking was the fact that cal had somewhere in this time period before the mandalorian had already met up with luke 
and then yeah, it'd be Cal would be one of the recruiters like that because Luke's too busy training people to be going out hunting. So I was a little. It was a little, so that was a little weird uh, to me. But and, and then on top but of that, the fact that timeline wise, it actually makes, right, it makes it sense, makes but, more sense. But then on, also on top of the fact that uh, Cal was also in the video game, Cal mm -hmm. was uh, doing the meditation circles on exactly the same thing that Baby Yoda was on. But oh, uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm not tripping about it. Like I'm, it, it's still better that it's actually Luke. I mean, that was crazy that they did that. My it, question. So crazy is who are really? they going but, to cast as him for the next season if they show him well see i don't they, think they're doing they, that instead, I, I, of, I instead of de-aging him each time i i, I honestly think the they so can, my we talked about this a few uh episodes back was for obi-wan no my my we talked about this a few episodes back is that i honestly thought that sebastian stan would right? have been the perfect dude to play luke He's under a Disney tr contract already. He literally looks like Mark Hamill when he was younger. Oh yeah, and we did. They, talk they about may that. have done that because of the shooting schedules didn't match up. I, they did that see, for this, and then he'll mm, come in later. So I, but I thought about that, and I was just like, I was like, well, he was only in there for a short minute, so I was like, like, I, I, so I'm very mixed on the fact of the de aging, the motion, uh, the de aging moment they had but i'm assuming that they're not really going to be showing luke that much and like we were kind of uh, assuming next season either either season three of them or the time period for season three of the mandalorian is going to be the boba fett story or mm -hmm. we're going to get a time jump regardless i think we're going to get some sort of time jump with the mandalorian with uh you think so? uh, yeah. I, I feel don't... like I think, we still have Jin and bo katan story though yeah, That's but I think there might be a slight bump in time and or then it'd be weird going to take somewhat of a backseat. So how we how they brought Bo did Boba how they in brought it, Boba into it as a surprise guest and then carried it on and had those two working out. I think now what will happen is there'll be uh, Boba and uh, Finnick. And then as the story progresses, Din will make an appearance. Oh, yeah. I, I hope opposite. not. I hope it's still the Mandalorian. <laughs> no, well, well, it'll still be the Mandalorian, you know, and he'll be there. It'll be the Mandalorian, the book of Boba. So it'll be about oh, his story uh -huh. and then continue on from there. Kind of weird. Uh, but to for, me, well, I was going to, I was going to ask Marta and Tyrone for people that aren't as connected and such. What, what is your thought? What was going through your head, or what were you thinking about when you saw that it was Luke Skywalker, the Jedi? Well, that answer, Kyle. Yeah. For me, uh, everyone else about canon and whatever. My my head for the past two weeks has been in the books. So, oh, so you have been enjoying, sir. Yeah, yeah. So I was low key. I know it's evil. I was low key hoping that they were going to bring what's his name, Sabia. Oh, okay. Sabia, I was hoping Sabia was gonna try to get him low key. Really? Yeah, low key because I thought it would be kind of it would oh. it would have made the story interesting. Are the books uh, no, no, not no, they're not no. Another they're not, clone? They're not canon. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not canon. Oh, so Sabia is Luke Skywalker clone, right? That one? No, uh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Because Luke has a clone, right? He, he's tied. Yeah. He's tied to Thrawn. Yeah, he's size of Thrawn. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, me and Mark are like, what? The Luke is the clone. Like, they mentioned Thrawn. That's the other thing. They mentioned oh, I'm pretty Thrawn. sure Luke has a clone, though, yeah. Yeah, it's Luke, not canon. Luke. It doesn't matter. Don't worry, Marta. Yeah, it's not yeah. canon. <laughs> it's, not canon no, so, it's not so canon, so it doesn't, it in, doesn't in this, count. This, this massive story like that fiction. is somewhat being spoiled <laughs> and linked to you right now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, but but, it, but, it, but in, in their defense, the story that they're kind of hinting at is all over the place and time wise isn't now so yeah you're you're okay yeah. um okay. but for the most part and you probably know this at one point luke does get married and have right. kids stuff like that because that's what people were hoping was going to happen <laughs> <Marta>! <laughs> yeah yeah what? Marta, but, wait, but wait, it's, it's never I, gonna I happen mentioned, though, i mentioned but, this yeah. to you like a long time ago when we were talking about star wars movies you're like really, I hope to see it in the movies, and that's that was before they did right last eight Jedi. nine, oh, and, yeah, and right. it never happened. So we're like, they're I feel obviously like not going to canon. Stuff. 
I mean, therein lies some of the frustration with the last part right. a lot of fans of the old books because Luke went on yeah. to have children and this whole stuff. thing. And, and what he's doing here by picking up the movie version, like, old man, get sad, dies. Right. You know? and, and picking up Grogu, it's <laughs> basically like, what but, Tom yeah. was talking about of Luke trying to rebuild the Jedi Order. Right. So him yeah. actually finding four sensitive people from around the galaxy or in certain areas and training them and building them so they could actually grow in numbers and recover from what happened. And that's so basically Marta, what uh, All right, so go ahead, Marta. What was your thoughts on Luke coming back? Um, it was it was really, really exciting and really badass. Mm. Um, and then I immediately started thinking about all of the background stuff that I know about from the movies. And mm. immediately I started questioning, well, where's, where's Grogu been since after the original trilogy? Was he a victim of um, the destruction, right? Because if, if I remember correctly, because um, I've only seen the newer trilogy, um, I think I'm seeing it a second time with my mom right now, or maybe a third time, but uh, there were long periods in between. But if mm. I remember correctly, when um, they're talking about uh, Kylo Ren and his relationship to Luke, um, that Luke tried to kill him and then there was like did mm -hmm. did kylo mm -hmm. kill all of the yes. children kind of similar yeah, it's, to it's, the way anakin, anakin. did yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's hinted, it's hinted that he killed um the other padawans that didn't follow uh what he was set out to do him the other no Knights. though he killed it but yeah. there's ideals that snoke slash oh god palpatine was puppeteering him to kill those people yeah. so that's a so, yeah. right no it, it yeah. didn't it's not it's not so much as so you know, wait so, oh so what you're trying to say is kylo what? killed grogu oh shit that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> well, yeah. yeah or like yeah, you didn't catch that grogu yeah um no i just it's... like but, holy shit yeah you're right yeah, well grogu i mean if you make that tragedy? possibly make a direct line it's possible but also look at a time difference so you see luke here he's actually quite young and then the Luke that you see right. that's in um, the, the other two counted. unfortunate Keep installments. Um, there's a <laughs> if you counted as canon. The, you, there's a huge time gap. So you're looking at right. any uh, at least a good 20 to 30 years. So Grogu yeah. could have been trained and left by that point. Mm. Okay. Not necessarily killed by Kylo. So oh, he wouldn't be a baby is what he's saying, basically. But... But part of me is like, well, they made, um, in The Mandalorian, they made a point to point out the fact that Grogu has issues and that Grogu mm. has this weird bond and that's going to affect his abilities and his stabilization with the good side of the Force and the dark side of the Force. Yeah, he might be but a that's, that's, so, where a, that's where a master of the Force comes into play. With him, not, like Luke right, said... Right. Having talent only is not going to get you anywhere. Right. Having right. an actual teacher will actually help yeah. take care of all that. But and that's not the case for the for. But that wasn't the case for Anakin, and he went. But, but yeah, Anakin, 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 right. And it, Anakin what? had someone that was forced into being right. a teacher at the time because they Correct. lost a teacher. They had the skills to become one, but they hadn't had any actual training Correct. in teaching but he came, this isn't an obi and, and before um not to stop you but okay. for people watching this is not an obi-wan diss that's not no. what i'm saying but I'm most saying people would know that yeah time, time on time wise time. he lost his teacher <laughs> he lost his teacher and you had someone that needed to be trained by someone and he had the skills to he just didn't have the actual experience because he hadn't had a pot of one before that's all right. i'm saying and so you're playing you, 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 on obi-wan and I mean, you 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 generally see that Obi struggles a lot, a lot as a teacher to try to teach Anakin yeah. anything, uh, even without being a, Clone Wars. Yeah. But yes, also, Mark. they made a point with Anakin's story to bring mm. with him the baggage. Like his baggage was his relationship with his mother, and so Grogu brings mm. his own baggage with his relationship with. Um, the other teachers with that Jin, with Jin and how and mm. as like his parent figure so I'm wondering like if mm. it's gonna be I don't know I mean this could is be. like really I going out right. there, I mean, but, no, you, you, like, I mean you, you know, 
You're making no, good what if, Yeah, yeah, good Yeah, point. like what if he, what if his journey is one of similar struggle to Anakin yeah. Skywalker? You're right. And well, I feel well, like, it, I feel like it's more likely now that we've seen all of these different things that the show has pointed out with his mm. relationship with, um, with then. Mando, with his um growing up essentially even though he's 50 years old but it's yeah, still young yeah. <laughs> in, in their creatures time um growing up with all of this violence around him too that has to have an influence on a child's mind all of this violence is bound and ruthless violence too well if, um, if there's one well, thing i right. could I mean, but but if there's one thing I can say, and um, I think this is the hardest part because of uh, one that one scene in the Last Jedi. Um, but the 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 way of the Jedi is uh, most could agree is somewhat of a flawed teaching. Um, the way they practice the teachings um, in the prequels was very flawed and that's one of the reasons they failed so hard um mm -hmm. something that it brought up a lot is about the fact that master yoda said that jedi cannot have attachments and we've talked about that before and even during the ahsoka episode that was brought up my hope is part of both sides, right? with luke my hope with luke because of the fact that luke from what I know of legends and some other issues, Luke is the only one of the only types of Jedi besides Mace Windu, but m even more than Mace Windu, that can tap into the dark side, flirt with the dark side, and use attachments uh, on a better level. So, if there was ever mm -hmm. a better, if there was ever the right teacher for it Grogu, be it's going to be Luke. Yeah. If there was ever somebody that could find the good in someone as dark as darth darth vader yeah and turn him the chosen one turn right. the chosen one uh it's going to be luke now why people are is luke he the chosen the one. one he's been he's, the chosen one. We, he's, talked he's, he's, we talked about that. i know we did talk about that but i still people people look at him as the chosen one. Yeah. he balanced him the as being the most hopeful right. person in the star wars universe he's like that right. beacon so he literally knowing, knowing everything that happens with Darth Vader, the Emperor, everything else, massacres, genocide, right. whatever. And he's like, there's still some good in him. He is someone that is oh, the really? true. I don't master. think you're on some, think something Luke, really. Right, but I, hold on, no, no, I, let's save that for another chat. That's a whole other yeah. thing about the chosen one. I, yeah. I say, so with Grogu, I think that's the thing. Now, what yeah. we've seen, unfortunately, in the sequel, uh, sequel trilogies, <sighs> uh, Luke's training somehow goes out the door even though uh, i like the last I, jedi but that i do I, have a problem i still call bullshit on that scene uh, so we'll, we will we will see. God, so i, I right. hope that i hope that answers some of your question marta is yeah, that um, yeah the, the that, jedi still have a lot to learn and that's one of the things that luke yeah. generally encounters after um defeating palpatine or whatever and so that i guess that's also the beauty is that we really don't know at this point canon wise what at what point yeah, the, that. the old Jedi, we know how bad the old Jedi were in their ways. Now, in some form or fashion, hopefully we'll be we'll get a chance to see what Luke is gonna try to do to restore the right. Jedi Order. As far as I know, from legends and things like that, he tried and he failed miserably and it didn't work. Yeah. Um, but and then it starts to get recycled. But we have this space now that we just don't know what's gonna happen, but it'll be interesting to see how how that happens and what will happen to Grogu as well. Um, so, and then, hmm? I was gonna say, I don't think, um, I don't think that next season they're going to show much time of jump. Grogu. And I, 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 I don't not. think the time jump is, number one, I don't think the time jump is gonna be as significant. I think it's gonna be a very short time short. jump. Yeah. And I think kind of like what we were discussing the last time I was on a review with you guys with for Mandalorian, um i i don't think they're going to bring back grogu for a while at least and the they wanted they, they wanted to sink in with the fans first so and not only that miss him and and then make us wonder what he's doing 
and then when they bring him back, it'll be more of a surprise and be deeper. Oh, yeah, they want okay. us to forget about. They want us to forget about him, and then Never. also, I feel like I feel like. <laughs> Never. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. So well, that's going to be the way I'm going to wrap this up. The final, okay. the final point here is what we've all been kind of talking about. Is like you know we said for a long time, like look. Uh, we can't keep on doing this Grogu story for this has to wrap up. I can't, we can't go into season three of like the hunt for the Jedi and all this other stuff. And, but it really started occurring, occurring to me today is mm -hmm. the very first episode of the Mandalorian literally were introduced to Grogu. So for us mm -hmm. as the audience, Grogu is as significant to the Mandalorian story in the show as mm -hmm. Din is, and it, it, I didn't really, you know, story-wise, it's very important, but I really actually wasn't prepared for how emotional that really would be for, mm -hmm. to sure lose that. Grogu, to, or to give Grogu away like that, his yeah. the surrogate father, to essentially, to a monastery or, um, you know. Monastery. Uh, uh, <laughs> not necessarily, well, somewhat a, mo or a monastery yeah. or, yeah. Religious to Catholic cult. Catholic church or something like that. Yeah, something, uh, in some form, yeah. Uh, to Wait, basically this is Catholic church with a baby Yoda. <laughs> Got some problems going on. <laughs> To give them away like that, and now we're essentially going to be Grogu-less um, mm -hmm. from here on out. And you also see Din, something we talked about two, one episode ago, just fucks his helmet. Like, I'm <laughs> Yeah, I know. That, <laughs> yeah, just, that was super surprising. Because he went from having what I love he, it. the most important thing to him. You before was his honor and his code. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Then coming up with Grogu. It's Spider Man Grogu 2 all over be, again for me. Grogu why ends be, up being why the most be important thing to him. The, you, because the whole point yeah, is I the fact that uh, his adopt his. Watch the series? The, the yeah, whole, but it doesn't mean that you're always look, right. Like the whole that, <laughs> JJ, the whole point was his uh surrogate son has never seen this motherfucker's face ever, and he's never gonna see yeah. him again. He's never yeah, going to see him again. It reveals it to everyone else as well, though. It's to me. Nobody it's, was. It, no, one, it no, one, no one was looking. And two, it didn't matter. The most important person right. in that room for his character was Grogu. And we saw Grogu. that. We saw the okay. importance of that in the previous episode when Thank he you. decided yes, to take yes, off yes. his helmet in no that hesitation. room in order oh, to do oh, anything he could to, right? to get son. information yeah. on Grogu's location. Oh, That's totally. what you knew. Yeah. That that was it. He yeah. it was it's his Come mission on, is this so is important. Not and right? at this point, yeah. it goes, yeah. it goes yeah. beyond yeah. the mission that he was given. His, what did they? Right. What's that mission? What did they call it? Anymore at this point. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Again, it doesn't why matter. Does he He's grown why does he not so... take off his mask? What's the reason for it? Oh, okay. I just explained it. Prior, okay. prior to, prior to the episode, Baby Jola literally doesn't know what this motherfucker. No, no, no. Looks I mean, like. I mean, his his personal rule why he doesn't do it is what I'm asking. He's not following it anymore. He, he was following he how he was raised. That. Right, right, right. That's yeah. why he felt conflicted when he was. Anytime he met someone that had Mandalorian armor, they took the helmet off. It's like. You're not a Mandalorian. Why did exactly you right? Because yeah. he was raised so to think that in these he little two to. parts, he already threw out all his beliefs to the Mandalorian, but he still has the Mandalorian started... stuff to go with with the Clone Wars and shit, and then realizing the stuff of the Night Owls as well. He has all these other impacts and shocks to the Mandalorian <laughs> culture. <laughs> okay, okay, look, hey. okay. But I don't think I don't think what? it's started. I wrong go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I have to dip out soon. I, I gotta wake up early. So I'll let you guys continue. Yeah. Point to See goodbye. what you did, JJ. No. <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was like, "This I'm is not the way." Make sure you I'm guys check out Tyrone with blurred lines. Uh, I'm going to finish. I, Beyonce. All right. To death. No. Uh, oh, thank you, easy, man. <laughs> thank you, Tyrone. Thank you. All right, thank you. you. All right. All right so continuing. Guys. Good luck. Look. First season, first season of the Mandalorian, one of the biggest things at the end of I think it was the season finale of season one was the 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 uh what the fuck are you calling the welders, the uh the yeah. ironer, the uh, solder the, the armor? Armor, thank you. The armor. armor. The one thing the armor said was like 
okay, look, it wasn't uh, it wasn't an uh, honorable kill, but you know what? You guys are basically a clan of two. And she right. literally made it that way. It's like, you guys, are, that you guys are a clan of two. You are literally a fucking family. This is also, this, this is your quest, but until that time, you guys are a family. So at this point, all of season two, we're seeing Din go through this like change but all like i know what you're saying for us it's one episode but for him that shit's been on his mind for the longest time the moment he met bo katan the moment he met um yeah. uh uh uh, uh boba fett he and, was and Tom, actually. the moment he met the marshal yeah, all of Tom. these people yeah. pretending to be fucking mandalorians and he started asking himself what the fuck is what is a real Mandalorian? It also, and even if it's this particular episode, like I said, I was surprised they brought it up so early, but there was a reason for that whole fight with Boba Fett and uh, mm. Sasha Banks. And, because and you, know what? You, you, yeah. you mentioning that just made me think about something dealing uh, <clears throat> with o- old older directors. The rule of three when in storytelling. So him being told or having these things happen to him three times is when his character would either a make the turn or b the Mm -hmm. audience knows the direction of what's going to happen and that character's choice now after that character makes that choice the follow-up to that is continue down that path or set a new one and right now he is stuck at a crossroads to where he has to set a new one but also he has to deal with bo because that's something else that they shied away from at the end of that so now from here on out what's going to happen do those and, two have the fight to the death? And but he didn't even know about that but, rule, though. Other but, also, right? That's Mandalorian rule that you have to fight for that sword and blah blah blah. But she didn't. He didn't even know that because that's, that's not true. other Mandalorian, no. right, right? Right. But that's right. that's yeah. something that they may use to get him out of that situation, possibly. But we don't personally, know. Personally, personally, <laughs> I think the armorer uh, has uh, uh, put, uh, uh, purposely left that's out a lot right. of history. Of of Mandalore, like he was raised as a foundling, but uh, for whatever well, he, reason, he, he is a foundling because they. I mean, he, yeah, he I mean, sorry, he, he was he, he was raised in the lifestyle of a foundling, but I, honestly, I just think for whatever reason, Death Watch isn't really uh, uh, telling him, or they chose not to tell him about all yeah. that lore of Mandalore and things and like that. That's my whole point. Doing it's the like, same thing. Like, but again, they, they, but again, they, they, doesn't know. And he's brought up this way, raises a kid without bringing the damn helmet off. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, this past. This but past, it wasn't like, all of a sudden. Months, I mean, it's like, yeah, fuck that shit. I mean, well, honestly, I know they had to do it, it, but realistically, it didn't really make sense. Do you really want your kid's only memory of you is it's a helmet? It's his fucking kid. <laughs> huh? It's his but son. It's someone that it is, is his son. <laughs> It's someone that he's built a really, really strong bond with. Like, oh, totally. just, like Okay, like, JJ, the easiest way to put it, in, in layman's terms, earthly terms, imagine Grogu has been adopted. Din is his adopted father. They're not, uh, they're not family by blood, but their bond is just as strong. He didn't even fucking know his name. <laughs> he didn't even know his name until like he's from an alien oh, race. Oh, he's speaking. Oh my goodness! He's gotta be fucking with us. He's gotta be fucking. No, no, no. I just this. We have a different opinion. No. It's fine. No, you have a wrong opinion. <laughs> it's not no, a different opinion. He, he, opinion he, he didn't wrong, communicate bro. with him that way because he didn't speak his language. Not because he didn't yeah. care. Not because he didn't. Oh, I know, I know. But because they. We've already proven the fact that like he doesn't understand all languages with like the gecko lady, the gecko mummy, and not yeah, the, being able the to frog? understand her language. Yeah, the frog, the, the frog yeah. gecko newt, whatever lady. I just don't think you know Grogu like I know Grogu. Grogu is a baby <gasps> that looks really oh, cute. You know, you're trolling. Like you're trolling, man. You're trolling. Children. He's the child eater, and in his mind. He is like a Sith Lord that just wants to kill everyone, but he looks so cute and everyone loves him. Comics Plus, oh, Red Reddit oh. Nation, if, you, if you're going to downvote this video, don't downvote it because of JJ. <laughs> Just think about the other four in this video. I, I'm telling you guys because some of y'all are probably going to see the reaction. All of us are tearing up. And I I heard JJ in the back yeah. of my head was like, bye-bye, baby eater. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no. The rest of us are tearing up and this motherfucker's cracking. <laughs> but okay wrapping everything up 
I know it's hard to call it. I know it's really hard to call it, but season one versus season two. Uh, overall, two. what do you guys? You feel two. Who said two? Yeah, me. Who right better? I say two because it actually had an emotional draw to it. Okay. Okay. That, I say that, two. This, that that these man. past three, I'll even stretch and say four episodes did it for me. And it's not so much just because. I am a fan of Star Wars and like specific characters, but the way that they tied some of these characters into the storyline, they've actually taken storylines that are in the animated series from the movies and then what used to be in the books and somewhat hinting at it and bring it in. I like how they're taking things that fans actually want to see or uh, would like to hear about, let alone hint about and bring it together. So the way they've done that, I'm in, I've enjoyed that. And then the storyline with uh, Grogu, as painful as it is, I'm happy to see that he's with someone that I trust, be it Luke. But yeah. I feel like crap. That was crazy. I, yeah, I, right? I, that's I, the I craziest like, thing. Dude, half it's like the hype, hype, that's not but cool. The, yeah. You're no like, matter what JJ is, says. <laughs> it's like, this is exactly I what know, I want I, to happen. I don't think it's Wait, why is this happening like it's that? A weird you know? thing, but I won't say it's crap like you guys. Like, you guys are like, this is fucking shit. But I don't think it's that. I. I love seeing Mark Hamill, but I have to admit, there's something weird about it. Yeah, but yeah. seeing Mark Hamill, seeing it tie together, that's not what we were not talking perfect. about. It's <laughs> great. We were talking about something else, but yeah, but the CGI, I, I, Ahsoka, Bill Burr, John Leguizamo, perfect. Fuck. Personally, <laughs> uh, in, in regards to the deep fake situation, um. Uh, I it, I think it would have been better for them to use an actual person like like so if if it was Sebastian Stan I think I would have uh, loved it. De aging. Yeah, yeah it, like it's I not even de aging. De aging. I'm like because well, I, 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 I think they really wanted to have someone there, and they actually, didn't have, and, they did, and they and they may not have cast the person yet, so they use that right. in place of until casting. But, I don't think so. I don't think Luke's gonna I come honestly back. think because I because I think it was more of a um a a, a scheduling thing. Also, you know, with what's going on in the world, kind of like all right, we I, don't have time to okay. finish everything. And they use it because no one was cast. Who do you think that do, do you think that was Mark Hamill doing the voice? Like yeah, totally. Did Mark yeah. Hamill in the credits. Did it? I think okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it was Mark I mean, Hamill's if, body. If he did, I'm him. wondering who did his nephew. Right. right. I think it was Mark <laughs> Hamill, man. I think it was face on. I think it was fully Mark Hamill, and then they just yeah. changed his face. Do you do you think? You, do you think? Do you really? Nah, I don't know. Yeah. I think it is. You, I think. I think it was, you, you think Mark Hamill showed up on set and did the whole face thing? Yep. Yeah, and I think they did his body too. I'm like, well, why not? Okay. Well, see, my Wait, thing is, I think they did his body for it and the budget. No, they definitely I, did his. They didn't do his body. No, they yeah, didn't do his body. They did his face. <laughs> <finger. laughs> it no, could be Mark Hamill's like body, six, though. Seventy something years like old now. Like, yeah, he's like, because well, I was surprised the other day. Well, uh, you have some people online that are saying that they they weren't too thrilled with the CGI right. for Luke um, because because his nose was a little off. And apparently, yeah, it Mark Hamill didn't have anything to like, do with the episode. Yeah, no, it was well, really it had everything to do with the episode. No, <laughs> here it said he didn't have anything to do with the episode. Oh, yeah, oh you mean Hamill? Have been involved yeah. with yeah. the episode. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, give him credit. credit. Yeah. No, that doesn't make know. sense. Isn't That's that weird? So weird. That's see, so person. bizarre. So, see, so for, for so there's there's um. There's, there's, uh, <laughs> so for me, per personally, de aging only uh, the whole deep fake thing only works well if it's quick. Uh, example right. the uh, rogue. What is everybody looking at? <laughs> I'm about to look on Mark uh, Hamill's Instagram. I'm looking at IGN's um article to see what the end of it was. Like, okay, the, who who they use as the uh, the body? I mean, see if article but yeah uh, all right well what here i'll talk to the audience since you guys are <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> so no what i'm what Sorry, i'm trying guys. to say is in uh deep fakes uh for me personally in the star wars lore has only worked uh two times ironically the same movie and that was um uh Rogue Rogue one? one uh hmm. because uh, no 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 because it was um not him <laughs> 
um, yeah. it was Carrie Fisher because yeah. it was so quick. Yeah. It was so quick. I was like, oh, what the fuck? And then it was gone by that point. Right. Tarkin, personally for me, because I didn't really, really, really know who Tarkin was, um, mm. like the connection. I, I completely went through that entire movie not knowing that was a CG. And then the next day, because, because I honestly, I was just no, always. So that means, that means they did a good job. But soon as I was like, job. what? They did, they did a great job because, again, you're. Uh, I will go on record. No, I've, you're seen like, the, you're I've seen the original trilogy once and that's it. Hmm. And I just never cared enough to watch it again. Um, so for me, Tarkin didn't even like register that he would like he, that old dude's been alive. I'm like, well, how's he still alive? Anyways, the next day I'm looking on my phone and they're like, Star Wars does revolutionary technology to bring back a dead character. I'm like, Carrie Fisher's dead? Not yet, right? And then I find out it was Tarkin. I was like, wait, that dude, that was all CG? But now going back to Rogue One, it really stands out knowing that it's CG. Um, right. so personally because we all know luke we all know mark hamill um i would have I, I would have preferred if they just cast somebody a lookalike for that right. short time period i think that would have been more more than enough um the de-aging the the deep fake just reminds me way too much of the porn hub clips and things like that so. <laughs> yeah just, yeah uh, I, I'm okay with you. No, you know. I like Marta's face. She's like, okay. Yeah. Look, I could just reveal the lot to us. If you <laughs> know, she's, you know. She's looking like, has he seen my history? <laughs> <laughs> just teasing. Just teasing. No. Um, I'm, but opposite, I'm glad, I'm glad they did the, I'm glad they brought Luke in and they did it the way that they did because now it gives them a chance to see how fans react to it. And they have a year before the next filming, so it's like, hey, so I think, about I think that's the Luke. let's fix that, either better CGI or let's just cast somebody and get them signed. Why do you think they're going to continue Luke? I think that's it. That's it. And if we see Grogu yeah. again, it's not going to be with Luke. I agree with that was, JJ. That was a goodbye to Luke, and I loved it. If I don't, that's I don't it, want. I, 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 I don't want. I don't, I, don't I, I don't want to see. I don't, I, I'm not against seeing Luke, and I know it's going to happen because of the Obi Wan series. He's going to pop up. Um, I don't you care what A. G. is, but <clears throat> no. don't care what age is or how they tie it into the story, but he'll eventually pop up. But having Luke come in to the series the way they did, I think was a great opening close for mm. Grogu's the story, chapter. Luke's story, even if they decide to open it and go somewhere else with it, I'm satisfied. If they don't, I'm satisfied. But for everyone else in that series, Din is the one that I worry about the most. It's like okay. now what? What happens? Yeah, I agree. I think that's the yeah. biggest. It's like because what does he, he literally lost yeah. everything. everything. They have taken yeah. his character that's and broken him down yeah. throughout the entire yeah. series. That's took, the end took, of the arc. Took took, yeah. uh, took away his beliefs. Took away his armor. His ship. He got raped. His son. Yes, JJ. His son. <laughs> yeah. His culture. All of that's been stripped. Now he's basically he's got to rebuild himself. So it's like, well, now what? But Maybe the idea of Bo Katan saying, "Why are you done with me?" and we can teach about Mandalore. That's also kind of good because that's giving him a chance to learn something from the other side or from another perspective of the culture. That is, if the that's kind of interesting. Labor issue has been resolved very quickly and smoothly. Right. <laughs> and I mean, well but that. again, we well, see that Din doesn't care about any of that. He's just like, no. whatever. Oh, this dart here, take it. He, like he, he, we yeah. tend to forget that even with Moff Gideon, he was like, oh, here, you keep it. I don't give a shit about that. Just give me the kid. That was it. Yeah. So that was that's mm -hmm. really. I don't know. Yeah, that's. I guess yeah, that's going to be the real quick. way. Really. Well, so, so as long as he doesn't have to die in battle, to anyone depending on around. how they do this. They could fight, and you know he purposely loses. I don't know. Which uh, obviously that it not has to be to the death, fight. doesn't it? No. no. Well, like I said, it depends. They don't have to go that route. They could just fight, and she right. takes. Right. Um. I don't know. I just that's another thing. It's like well, a I see her beating the shit out of him. And he's like, whatever, do what you want to do. And she's like, no, it needs to be spectacular. And he's just like, no, just punch me in the face. Okay. Yeah, and he's like, I took a spectacular ass whooping from a dark trooper. So you know, just take the saber. 
Just take it. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it raises a lot of questions, but uh, in all likelihood, I'm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming that they'll be going down the route of um, establishing Mandalore even Mandalore. deeper. We yeah. haven't yeah. seen, we haven't seen Sabim. We haven't seen no. all these other people. So I feel you know like that's coming. Yeah, mm, he I feel, know. yeah, he doesn't know what's going to happen. I, I feel like that is going, going to be it. the that's got to be the most likely route of where Dave Filoni and John want to take this story. Um, yeah, yeah. Is exploring because DC, I think, hit the nail on the coffin here is the fact that uh, Din lost everything. So now it's a matter of him learning everything or rebuilding everything without growth, be rebuilding so, so, Mandalore yeah. as well. Yeah. I think same they time. foreshadowed that. I mm -hmm. think they foreshadowed that too in that final um, fight scene. He mm. doesn't have his guns. He doesn't have his. Um, I forgot what the thing is called. That's a good point. A little yeah, yeah, right. He and was the only using the weapon he has. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Was that spear, spear, that spear, weapon yeah. is super special, and they've pointed out in the series that right. the traditional hunting weapon. And it's, yes, exactly. So I and you can like even say even though, uh, but biblically. Not, Shadowing. No, but even you biblically, the uh, the lance of Longinus and such, like piercing Christ, is um, the same idea. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, wow. I did, I don't know that reference. I I didn't. I, um, I know. I, I know. But, yeah. But but, but I, I I yeah, I can get a sense of what you mean. But yeah, like the I whole thing with Jesus Christ and like even because I think he even took out one of those robot dudes right in the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. right through there, yeah. right through yeah. there. So there's but whole I, I, Evangel uh, Evangelion, uh, yeah. Evangelion. Mm, yeah. Remember, yeah. uh Marta. Uh, Evangelion. Remember uh Lilith was on the cross and then the the yeah. Lance of Longinus speared yeah. into her heart. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the whole Jesus Remember Christ. Poseidon, the king of the sea. Yeah, he had a lance too. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you so much. For you all have a wonderful evening. Out. Um, make sure you check out DC Sun. He's up updating his channel with uh, random questions that you can send him about all these sorts of things. If you really want to talk to him, in fact, DC Sun, you probably should try out StreamYard and do a one on one chat with the fandom about star wars in general like i'm sure you could really have at it with some of the hardcore star wars fans i know I you know love I have that much time no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can do, uh, teach no, I mean, that'd be some good conversation go. yeah, this is and the way with dc son <laughs> um stay tuned for jj as well as uh the jj channel jj walters now uh as you have some new stuff coming up right all the time every week there you go. Make sure you check that out. And uh, most importantly, Marta, uh, sooner than later, she'll be um, uh, playing on my PlayStation and playing all the games okay. that we, the ones that I cannot play, uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, um, Fallen Order. I, I have, I mean, I literally, that I'm excited copy, to play that now. Fallen Order, I can't wait to actually see you go through that and learn mm -hmm. about star wars lore like that and you know anything but cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> <laughs> um and then obviously jackets <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play the other uh purported terrible release i'll play no man's sky because i personally love that game there you go uh, so you can check that out. You can check that out on Twitch. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks or so, over the holiday, and of course, keep it locked here to the Comics Plus channel, where uh, I'll be going uh, in uploading my favorite arcs of um, Clone Wars, uh, starting right today. Uh, I'm doing the Fugitive storyline with Ahsoka right now. That uh, we, we're getting that edited, and then we'll probably just go through some other Ahsoka arcs, probably. The Darth Maul stuff as well, and then mm -hmm. after that, of course, Star Wars Rebels. Uh, as I'm wrapping it up right now on Patreon, uh, the season four this week and next week will probably be wrapping it up before the end of this year. So, um, I want to thank all of you guys for being part of this uh journey with the Mandalorian. Thank you so it's much, fun. I don't even know what's next for it us. That's bitter, it feels thing. bittersweet, like I know, saying goodbye. All yeah. the Fridays, our Fridays are gone now. Like I don't When's even know. When's the new Harley doing coming yet. out? When is what? <laughs> When's the new Harley, Harley? coming out? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, isn't that March? I'm ready for some more Harley. Isn't that March next year? It is. Is it a Harley Quinn series? Damn. Oh, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I live yeah, in Japan. Yeah, I don't get my shit. We all yeah, live in, really, really. I live in real Japan. Three out of the four of us that are in this group chat right now are in Japan, bro. In we, real Japan. We. <laughs> You would love kite man. I'm in Japan in my head. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. I, I was gonna say that, Marta. I yeah. my heart. I'm in Japan. <laughs> um, I honestly, yeah, I honestly don't know what the next big thing is gonna be, but in all likelihood, we'll see uh, sometime next year. Oh, what am I talking about? Duh, the the um, the um the Winter Soldier, I believe. Falcon and the Winter oh, yeah. Soldier. If you guys are interested. When when. That's I think that's, March. March. that's March. February. And you know, thanks thanks to Warner Brothers. Thanks to Warner Brothers. Yeah. We can check out all of the new movies next year on HBO Max. That's, that's <laughs> right, buddy. <laughs> From the luxury of our own home. Thank you, Warner Brothers. Christopher yeah, Nolan, you. we love you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We'll take we'll talk to you later. Take care. And may the force be, be with, with you. you. Always. Peace.